We are definitely feeling that heat outside right now in Carbondale. The skies are a little bit cloudy and the temperatures are only in those mid 80s, but we're expecting those temperatures to really soar, especially after those clouds get out of our region. The heat index right now is sitting at 91 degrees, which means that it feels a lot warmer just because of the amount of moisture that we have in the atmosphere right now. But taking a look at the radar, we're not seeing anything active on the radar. Any sort of shower activity on the radar right now is isolated in nature and is not expected to become widespread. But across our region, most of us are in those mid low to mid 80s. A few of us have already hit 90 or in the low 90s back in Fredericktown where we have seen less cloud cover but that feels like temperatures is a lot warmer with Sparta already feeling like 100 in Carbondale feeling more like 92 outside and we do have that heat alert that is in effect until Saturday afternoon and this is going to be for our entire region except for the two counties in southern Tennessee and northern Tennessee rather but if we zoom out we can see the almost the entire Midwest is under a heat advisory especially the state of the almost the entire state of Missouri Illinois and Indiana are all under that heat alert for a heat advisory rather for temperatures that could be up to or temp feels like temperatures that could be up to 110 degrees so if you're headed out today maybe to do a little bit of work I think that today is going to be a great day to stay indoors it's going to be extremely hot with those temperatures warming up into those low to mid 90s today. And if we take a look at our threat tracker, we can see that the, we have isolated showers activity today, but I really think that the main threat today is going to be hot temperatures that are going to continue today, and it's going to get even hotter tomorrow and into Saturday and Sunday. So it's going to be very, very hot for the next few days, and those heat index values are going to be very, very warm. So if we take a look at our hour by hour by lunchtime, most of us are going to be in those mid to upper 80s, and by 6 o'clock, I think those of, most of us are going to be hitting those low to mid 90s again by this afternoon. And we do have an isolated shower chance tonight, but nothing super, super widespread for across the region. And then to start the day tomorrow, I think we're going to be starting similar today with a few clouds, but temperatures aren't really going to be cooling off that much with highs or low temperatures near 80 degrees for most people in the region. And tomorrow by noon and by 6 o'clock, we're going to see even hotter temperatures with temperatures approaching 100 degrees across the region. So by, ten, this, by this afternoon, most of us will be experiencing heat index values of about 100 degrees. And I think by tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be even hotter with temperatures. I think I think this model is a little is doing it a little less, but I think that most of us are going to be close to 105 to 110 degrees feet for the heat index tomorrow afternoon. So it's going to be extremely hot tomorrow afternoon, and that's because we have lots and lots of moisture in the atmosphere that is keeping our air very, very soupy outside, and that's going to be sticking with us through at least Saturday. So these 90s are really going to be here to stay for the remainder of the week, and that is because this heat dome is building in from the west, and it is just going to continue to build and build as we push further into to the week. So it's going to be an extremely hot week. And so if there's any excessive heat warnings issued or if there are any changes to the heat advisor, you can go down ahead and download that StormTrack 3 app and that will give you the latest information regarding the heat alerts outside. So again, today is going to be 94 degrees, I think. And then by tomorrow, we're going to be close to 100 degrees with the actual air temperature, not the heat index, being at 99 degrees. And then we cool off slightly to 98 and 93. I never thought I'd say that I'd been looking forward to 93 degrees on Sunday, but again, it's going to be really hot. As soon as we get past Sunday, we're back into those mid to upper 90s. It's just, it's going to be so hot. Oh my gosh. You know, just go ahead and try to stay hydrated. Yes. Check on the elderly neighbors. You have any loved ones. Stay in the air conditioning if you can, because I mean, just so hot out there. Yes. Even the lows are hot. So. Right. The, the lows aren't, we're not cooling <laughs> off as no. much. So. All right. Thanks so much, Garrett.